hello there so this will actually be our last video for the poster and flyer design section and the reason i'm actually doing this last one is because there is a um an effect a trick i want to teach you guys and i feel like we've not touched it yet so in this video we are going to really focus on that we are going to be making something very simple and we'll be focusing on that effect because it makes design you know much easier it makes design very very nice to see and it makes it work in a way so the first thing i'll do is I would you know come over to a new page then let me select this guide delete all this is the guide from our previous video and we'll be trying to you know replicate the design let me import it right in and this is the design I know you will say this design is very I mean it's very very simple and basic it's very 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 simple bring it over here grab your rectangle tool draw a rectangle over it Bring your rectangle out make it bigger if you want to let me select the top then make them bigger together make them bigger and then you can actually use your pencil to draw this shape but oh my god it will stress you out it will really really be stressful so what i would like to do is i like to grab an image that has these guys inside these guys these guys so i would import it Control i import the image and this is the image import draw it right over here let me drag it out here now this is a trick i want to teach you guys i think i've already even mentioned it in a previous video and that is to use the you know quick trace once i quick trace this it automatically replicates exactly what this image is like and this is what i'm saying this image is kind of large that's why it's taking so long to quick trace it so that's it's done so let me delete this come over here on group delete the background and select i i know if i move this let me let me delete these guys first this is these guys but leave this guy these guys these guys are useful because you can see it's on this design so i think the thing is if i move this guy out here this is just a white shape and i don't want that so i'll select this guy select this white shape and you know use this option the trim so you trim out the faces are intersecting so trim this out this is looking nice and sharp perhaps give them another color let me give them this blue color give it bring it here it's too big make it a little bit smaller just a little bit more yeah this is perfect so a couple of things are on this shape i guess let me see if i can delete them i don't want yeah no there's some things that i don't want so let me pick the color once again pick this yellow color pick the green color i'm guessing it's the green color now you might be wondering how do i have this like you know this folds on this design looks like it's a cloth and then it's the right color i'm going to be teaching on that right now so let me give this yellow give this oh i said yellow and i gave it green come on <laughs> let me give this to yellow okay this is white this like circle stuff is white so let me import the image i used as background so ctrl i this is the image and you see you agree with me that this this image is not green i mean are you right this thing is not green now just follow me so let me power clip this inside the shape then edit make it bigger or wider or whatever you want to call it i think this is okay now the next thing we're doing is oh, it's actually something we've done before but we just haven't explored that so click on your rectangle tool draw it over the shape then click on the green color remove the background i think this green color is a little bit deep or too dark i guess i think the, the real green is this green yeah this green color yes this is the real one this one is the, i'm just noticed that there was something off about it give it the green color the bright green now you click on the transparency tool the transparency tool rather than dragging over it we won't do that or rather than increasing the opacity we'll still do that but i don't really think we'll be doing that so stop this ctrl z click on the transparency tool then you see this option on the toolbox there is this place that says normal click on this normal then come to overlay click on overlay and just like that you have something very similar but this is still looking a little bit off now what we want to do select this green shape ctrl d duplicate it and to the center 
see this is a little bit more green but it is not as green as we want it so let me delete this that means overlay is not really working let's play around with other ones that we have here can play with and you see what it's doing play with all okay i said and again play with all play with um xor play with soft lay play with add light i think add light is the right one so add light is really looking nice so i think this works so select this option and just like that we have something very very similar see it works seamlessly let me remove the outline you type in whatever whatever it is you want to type in happy happy i d sorry i don't know how to pronounce this 50 so make it the right size centralize it put it at the center change the font if you want to change it import the logo and boom we have this flat design so i really hope that in this flat design service we've been able to teach you effects that will make your flat designs nice and pop and i really actually would like you to practice more because that's the only way to go just make sure you practice and you keep practicing and you keep practicing